Here we go people, another PS4 round one B fighters only fight between Farzan132 going up against L25M08889. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. Here we go people. And what are we going to call L25M, uh, L25MO8888, whatever, we're just calling a column. We're gonna call him Mo, okay? <laughs> Mo versus Farzan. So, what we have right here, man, Dustin Poirier, and a lot of people were arguing in the comments area saying that Dustin Poirier shouldn't be a B-class fighter. He should be in the A- minus to A range, especially nowadays since he's doing so well. But it's interesting that we're seeing <laughs> someone use Bruce Lee. <laughs> Nice. And Farzan seems to be nice and technical early. Oh, nice little sidestep by Mo. Oh, and Mo could do that. Mo could do that in a three round fight, accelerated clock. He could add that to his arsenal. If it was five rounds, real time, I would say, no way, Jose. But with this clock being sped up man he could do it Farzan doesn't care though Farzan's being nice and patient just touching him nice They're both guys oh nice both guys showing a lot of respect not over committing oh and chicken leg time oh good denial by Mo and that's surprising I guess Farzan believes you know anybody who uses good old Bruce Lee doesn't have a ground game but he rocks him oh and he's rocked again but Mo does have the stamina advantage but you can't be getting rocked like that big man if you get rocked like that it's gonna be game over And his head is right there for Farzan. See that? Every time he comes creeping in within punching range, Farzan's catching him with a little one-two. And good idea by Mo to tickle the body, but watch out for those uppercuts. Nice. Good little pushback by Mo. Oh, but Farzan's like Ricky J, baby. That's no pushback. That's setting up to my trap. Nice, good combo. Oh, Farzan, <laughs> he kind of laid that uppercut on a, on a tray by ducking down like that. But big, big round for Farzan. The only thing I don't like about his situation right now is that stamina. Oh, oh, it's gotta be over. Don't need to worry about the stamina when you can KO guys in that first round. Way to go, Farzan. Good job, man. He, like, he didn't really get hurt at all in that fight. Five stuns, wobbles. I call it rocks. They should change it to rocks, eh? And then one knockdown, that one knockdown. He took advantage of it and won the fight. So we're going to keep it here. It'll be interesting to see who these guys roll with. Now I'm hoping they change weight classes, and they and they have here. They've changed weight classes into the middleweight, and we're seeing a lot of Uriah Halls. I'm hoping we're going to see someone new. Elias Theodoro? Is he going to roll with him? Come on. Viva la Canada. He knows I'm Canadian. If you want to get it on <laughs> Ricky J's channel, man, I'm speaking in third person. Yeah, use a Canadian. But again, the tricky thing with this tournament is that you really got to do your research to know who's B plus and under. And Paulo Costa is, I believe, a B plus. Is there a way of checking? Yeah, I don't know if you could check when it's unranked. But um, let's see how things go. I, I really feel that um, Mo is comfortable on the feet because he picks somebody who's, you know, primarily a stand-up guy in Hall. It's kind of like a, a juiced-up Bruce Lee. So, 
I don't feel that he's going to take this fight to the ground. I, I feel like if the fight's going to go down to the mat, it's going to be on Farzan's uh, decision. You know what I mean? On Farzan's, you know, <laughs> you know what I meant. His decision. That's what I meant. Oh, he's leg switching. Mo is like, you know what? I'm going to pull out all the stops. I'm going to switch. Oh, nice by Mo. And, you know, though that spinning kick to the body, a lot of people are like, why do people do that? All it takes is like, you know, five of those. And those could stop fights. He already has two. Something like that. It's like five or six, five or six of those with full stamina. And, and those could stop fights. Oh, nice little head movement. And Mo's getting a little cocky. Mo's brewing with confidence right here. And good for him, man. We want to see a third fight. <laughs> and I like that. And Farzan's not really caring too much about that. That kick. Oh, because he's got that. And Costa's got dynamite in his hands, man. Oh, leaning the wrong way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. In this game, man, you just can't blink, even when you're watching. Like, I went to scratch my left shoulder, and um, I just kind of looked to the left, and all of a sudden, boom. Big kick out of nowhere. And let's see if Mo can silence what I said about him primarily just wanting to be a stand-up guy. He's probably going to push off here. He does. Oh, and he's showing respect in striking in range. Don't do it. Both guys showing a lot of respect, which is nice. But the one thing Mo does very well is that he's he wins that stand the stamina battle from what I'm seeing. Wow, Farzan sneaky with that takedown. And again, it's under his accord. Oh, but Mo gets up. Let's go, baby. Mo money, more problems. <laughs> P Diddy. P Diddy, man. Didn't he change his name like five times? Puff Daddy. Diddy. <laughs> Is he, didn't he go with just P for a while? Oh, nice. And, oh, look at that. Great little counter action. Oh, and he lets him off the hook by not throwing there. Nice head movement. Mo showing some great signs here. Just got to watch his head. And he's rocked again. This could spell the beginning of the end. Oh, and it's over. Look at that. Look at that. What a showing by Farzan. Again, you got to get up, give it up for Mo. Mo showed some great signs of good fighting, but he just had a couple of lapses in his game that cost him here. And Farzan's moving on to the next round. Congratulations, big boy. I'm going to end off this video. It's a quick one. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.